welcome back AutoCAD students and in this tutorial we are going to do a rectangular array. Alright, we're going to array the desk, the chair, the computer, and this text. Um, we're going to do a four column array and a two row array all in one command. Alright, so let's get started. Let's go up to the ribbon and we're going to pick on rectangular array. Okay, and the first thing that Array asks me to do is to select objects. So I'm going to do a crossing window here right across the text, the desk, the chair, the computer. Okay, right up there. And after we're done selecting, we want to do an enter or a right click. All right, so now what this gives me right away is it gives me kind of um, a reflection of some old settings up here on the ribbon that have to do with Array. And um, my favorite way actually to get an array in here is to actually just do a couple of things on the command line. All right, so while we're looking at this and it doesn't look correct, we're going to be able to change it. So I'm going to do B, enter for base point, and the base point of my array, I'm going to pick the inside corner of this office. All right, I'm going to actually type in COL for column. It's going to ask me how many columns I have. So I have one, two, three, four columns. And the next thing it asks me is for the distance between the columns. So I'm going to pick the inside corner of this office to the inside corner of that office. And the computer will calculate the distance and that will be the distance between the columns. And you can see here the desks are already starting to line up nicely in the column view. The next part is R, enter for rows. The number of rows I have is two. And the distance between the rows, which is the next question, is gonna be the inside corner of this office to the inside corner of this office. And again, now you can see it's right in position. Okay, so I'm pretty much done there, so I'm going to do an enter to escape the command and exit. And now you have a rectangular array, four columns, two rows, exactly in the position we need. All right, you can also explode this array with the explode command if you don't want them grouped together any longer. So you just come up to explode, pick on the array, do an enter, and you'll notice that now each piece is a separate item. All right, I hope that helps and good luck with rectangular array.